Hello and welcome back to Talk About Strange. Stick around, I got a really good uh, story for you. This is actually the first story I read yesterday. Um, you've seen that video, hopefully, with the twins that experienced a lifetime of encounters. Really good story. You should check that out if you haven't already. Uh, I got an opportunity to go out to Sodas Point on Lake Ontario and get some beautiful drone footage. I, you've seen some of that in the beginning. I just went ahead and re reused that beginning uh, for this story, just changed the storyline on it. But what happened is the video was so long yesterday that the story that on that video, it took me over 45 minutes to read one story and it was just taking me forever to edit. So I had to cut this one out and I still wanted to share it because it's a really good story. So I figured I'd come back in today and I'm going to get this story back out to you so that you can get uh, both of them. And uh, I had to cut a bunch of that other one out. If you can, when you send me the stories, uh, there's only two things I ask for. Punctuation, uh, try to use your punctuations, and try to condense, condense the story for me. I want to share your stories, but it's really important. The editing time is insane, especially when a story drags on and on, and people won't stay and watch it. They, they want stories to be five or ten minutes, because they just got, you know, too much to do in the day. So uh, I want to share the stories and I don't mind sharing, you know, a couple, two, I want to share two or three stories if I can on a video. Um, that way I can get all your stories out there. But when they take a half hour, 45 minutes to read, I just, it's just too much. So, so anyway, so this short story was a nice short one and uh, I wanted to show it to you. So this is my DJI Air 3. That's what I brought out there for the shoot. Uh, I got a few different drones I use, but this is probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, it's just, it's small, it does a beautiful job, and I have a lot of fun with this one. So, all right, let's get on with this story. Here we go. Okay, this is Christine. She lives in California. Uh, she did not specify to keep her name. I, I'm not gonna say her last name. Um, we are lacking periods here again, but <laughs> I'm going to do my best with it. All right. We got to try to get those periods and commas and stuff in there for me. You guys, uh, it just helped me a lot trying to read these messages for you. I want to share them for you, but you got to take the time to edit it. If you're not going to edit it, you can't really expect me to edit it. Right. So just try to go through and do a little bit of that. Even if you voice text it, then read through it and just kind of add them in for me, if, if you would. Because that's the other thing. When you send it to me, I can't edit this. It's a message. I can't edit it. But if you can edit it on your end. All right. Anyway, I'm not complaining. Thank you for your messages. I, I do want them. I just want to read them. <laughs> Hello, my name is Christine, and I live in California. I have been watching your channel for a couple of months now, and I'm a new subscriber. And I'm liking your content, especially about Bigfoot and adventures, as I call them adventures, that people go through with their encounters. I'd like to share some strange encounters in my life about things that I've seen, which are more UFO and entity related. I've always wanted to share my stories. Other than telling some personal close friends, I haven't really told anybody my background about the paranormal or supernatural. I've encountered in my life. I've seen a lot of strange things in my life, but I will tell you that I remember when I was a child that one of my first earliest encounters I remember was a shadow being. I kept encountering outside. It was just dark shadow that would zip by really fast. When I was a child, about six years old, I, was, I remember my mom being outside watering the roses bushes. And we had a dog outside on the porch. And I kept seeing an entity in the sky. And when every, th every time I tried to focus on, what it, on it, it zipped by really fast. It had wings like an insect. But, and it had insect-like features. But it was too fast and could not make out the features 100%. I remember this thing was zipping around. And while I was about six years old, I came face to face with it. I didn't see it because I was too scared and it looked in my face and I, wait, I, I was too scared to look at it 
at its face because all I was thinking at six years old is thanks my oh my god this thing's about to eat me I remember closing my eyes and I thought I saw something that looked blackish brown fur before I closed my eyes I don't know what it was but I knew that it was not a human and it was not an animal I remember my face got grasped by the cheekbones something very sharp I don't know if they were claws, I don't know if it were surgical instruments or what kind of entity it was, but I remember it was pressing very hard on my face and looking intently at me. I knew this even though my eyes were closed. I knew I'd never forget that encounter. Within a few seconds, I was terrified and I thought it was going to eat my face off or eat me, but and leaped off and went into the night. I never saw it again. I still don't know the best thing I can describe. It was like an alien insect looking creature with insect wings, almost like that of a butterfly. And they were beating the wings really fast. And I remember telling my mom about the encounter and my parents when I saw the shadow things and they didn't believe me. I believe they thought I was delusional until one night my mom was outside watering the plants and she had encountered had an encounter with the shadow being. It scared her so much, she ended up coming into the house and locking the door. And when she told me, she does believe me after that. She tried to tell my dad, but dad didn't really believe much of anything of it. My dad believed it was more sleep deprivation more than anything, which it wasn't. I thought maybe it was time to share one of my stories. I have multiple paranormal and supernatural stories I could tell you about. I don't know which, what I saw. I know it was I was about six years old with the encounter. It was very strange and creepy, being that seemed very alien-like, demonic in nature. It was terrifying. I don't even know what it was. I never saw it again, and I pray I never even see it, never ever see it again. I have since moved from where I grew up, thank God, because it was very creepy over there living in those houses. My other, my mother passed away and it seemed like things got even more eerie there. So I moved to a place that was better now where I live. It's a different area in an apartment, small apartment, which suits me. But I still have strange encounters even where I live now. But the encounters I have over there with the more shadow encounters were UFO related perhaps. Sometime in the near future, I can share some of the UFOs I've encountered and described what they looked like and what they were doing when I encountered them. Anyway, Steve, thank you for letting me share this and listen to everyone's stories. So subscribing to your channel about maybe a month or two ago, and it's kind of put some encouragement in me to share some of my encounters. The encounter I tell you in the story is 100% true and really did happen. I was six years old. I'm 41 now. I still remember it. And look forward to more of these stories. God bless you, and I wish you all the best. Have a good evening, Steve. Bye. And his audience, God bless you all. All right. Well, hey, that was really cool. Christine, thank you for sending that to us. Um, neat story. I managed to get through that pretty good. Uh, but, you know, the wording was pretty good on it still. It was just missing some punctuation on there, but it was a good story anyway. Thank you for sharing that with us. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the, the footage that I'm sharing on here. And uh, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so very much. We'll see you again very soon. Let's cue the Bigfoot over here. I got to walk out. Hold on, let me walk out. Can I get him? I think I can get him on the screen. Here, let me walk out of the screen. Oh! Oh, wait. Actually, let's bring Fred in. Dancing, our dancing alien. Go ahead, Fred, hit it.